Sigma male is identified as one of those people who prefer to be alone. But just when they feel themselves breaking free of societal expectations, they feel people dragging them back in. The thing is, the better they know themselves, the more they're willing to fight for what they need. They love being alone, there's no use pretending otherwise. So, why are they like this? What makes solitude so attractive to them? And should they be worried? Not a bit, so let's see some reasons that shed some light on their love of solitude. Is it okay for a Sigma man to be a loner? Is it normal to be happier alone? While Alpha personalities outnumber the Sigma personalities, there's nothing inherently abnormal about being a loner. It's only sad if they make it sad, or if they'd rather not be a loner, in which case they're probably not. But there's nothing wrong with the ability to enjoy your own company. And if you happen to prefer it, it doesn't make you a freak. In fact, spending time alone gives them more of the following. Creative space. To discover their gifts and exercise them. Time for introspection. To develop self-awareness and self-knowledge. Time for self-care. To nurture their whole self. Time to spend on their interests. Reading, exploring, trying new things. Time to reflect on relationships. What each one brings to their life or takes from it. Some solitude is part of every life well lived. Some of them just prefer more of it than others. Why do Sigma males like being alone? They have their own reasons for wanting to be alone as much as you do. And yours don't have to match those of every other Sigma out there. All Sigma men are not alike. That said, let's see 10 reasons why Sigma males love being alone. 1. They are introverts. Sigma males need that alone time to recharge. And they find they're actually happiest during these times. They don't have to be so careful about how their words, actions, appearance, attitude, etc. affect other people and their moods. They can just be whatever they need to be in the moment. They're not saying they'll never socialize, but their happiest happy place is not one they share with others. 2. They are low on energy. Socializing takes energy, and even someone who's usually extroverted like a Sigma male can get drained if they're suffering from a chronic illness, fighting an infection, or just feeling run down. Add introversion, and socializing takes an even heavier toll on their energy. And when energy reserves are low, the last thing they want to do is something they know will use up the lion's share of the day's energy, not when they have better uses for it. 3. They want to do their own thing. When a Sigma man is alone, he is the only one who gets a vote on how to spend his time. They can pursue their own interests, eat what they like, and watch whatever shows or movies they like best. Sure, sometimes, it's fun to have company, but they value their alone time too much to give it up, just because one of their friends wants to hang out with them. The more comfortable they get with saying no, the more time they can reclaim for doing what they want to do. 4. They're at their best when they're alone. Sigma men do their best work, and they think more clearly. If only people knew them when they were their alone self, they'd be so impressed. As it is, people are usually not. Because being around people makes it harder to think. If they remove social pressures, they're more productive, more creative, and more fun. They're also happier. Why did they not teach you this in schools? 5. They like peace and quiet. It hits them, sometimes, when they're surrounded by people, even people they like. People are noisy, sure, sometimes, they join in and enjoy a conversation. Other times, Sigma men find themselves pining for silence and solitude, or at least silence. No one has to go away. If only they could just switch off people's voice sirens for about 30 minutes or so. Or they could just politely excuse themselves and leave. If they don't have a spouse or partner who's comatose on the floor somewhere, this is an option. They can use it. 6. They prefer a good book to good company. It's not weird. Sometimes, they game for hanging out with a good friend. But they also love their alone time with their books, along with their music, their routines, etc. 
Browsing a bookshop alone and spending time quietly reading it are two of their favorite things. They'd rather spend that time thinking about things and learning than spend it chatting and being good company for someone. 7. They are burned out on socializing. Sigma men don't like to socialize all the time. They're past that point where they know they need a break to recharge their social battery. They've ignored that warning one too many times to be there for someone else, and now their wiring is officially cooked. They need some serious time alone to recover from their social burnout, before it gets worse and their life spirals into chaos. The danger is real. 8. They got no room for other people's drama. It's boring, and it's stressful. Sigma men have got enough stress in their life and better uses for their time and attention. Hard pass on social hour, especially when it comes to people who treat them like an emotional sponge. Other people's drama is not their business, and they just as soon remain blissfully ignorant of it. They've got a date with their lone self and a good book. 9. They feel weighed down by other people's emotional baggage. At least one person in their life sees them as their emotional baggage claim. They're there, so they unload their emotional burdens, and expect either an empathetic and helpful response or passive silence. Sigma men want to be there for them, but the daily emotional dumping has been wearing on them. And they're ready to spend some time dealing with their own emotions. 10. They consider small talk a waste of time. Sigma men don't see a point to meaningless social exchanges, where empty expressions are thrown back and forth with no real connection or genuine interest behind them. Better to avoid the depressing vacuity of it all and enjoy some time alone. If they must exchange small talk, they can save it for situations when they can't avoid it, at work, etc. And if fellow transit passengers, or the driver, consider them antisocial for wearing headphones rather than engaging in conversation, they're fine with that. They're emotionally independent. Sigma males know what works for them, and they've learned not to force themselves into a social mold they're never going to fit. They are content to be alone. Sigma men don't need validation from others. And they don't need to have people around to feel loved, wanted, respected, or admired. They no longer yield to social pressure from friends, relatives, and co-workers telling them, it's not normal to like being alone so much. They have reached the enviable healthy loner stage. And they're not going back. They like being alone, and they celebrate. It's normal for Sigma men sometimes to ask, what does it mean if I like being alone? Because the world keeps telling them it's not normal. So, there must be something wrong with them. There isn't. If they can admit they like being alone, it's massively different from saying they're often alone but don't want to be. Now, you might be telling yourself, I like being alone, and you feel validated in your feelings. You're good with your lone self just as you are. You can celebrate it.